This catastrophic event occurred early this morning around 7 a.m. in Dusanja village located in Chitezi parish, Wakiso district. According to primarily police findings, at least eight bodies have been recovered from the debris of the garbage sludge. The rescue operation is ongoing, with authorities fearing more victims could still be buried. <laughs> Among those affected is Womali Kalule, who has tragically lost seven family members in this disaster. So far, three bodies of his dead relatives have been recovered, but Kalule is pleading with the government to increase manpower to expedite the evacuation process. Mama, ma, mama, abadda wonye, atena da yo mnyumbo, kuno na abazukuru na abanabe, takomye wu. Abazukuru vasatu, na abanabe bana. Era firi deyo, umwana wetu wakafuna kumu, na abazukuru babidi. Another victim, Namata Jacqueline, who lost four family members, attributes this to corruption within the country. She expressed her anger, stating that despite promises, the affected families were never resettled due to corruption. I want to wano, bali mu program e gurao. Ochitegera. Na ye, wogamba watu wangeti tuna million meka anti tano bakumi. Oli wa tu kedi wa gura teka konti zwa de million yamakumi yameka. Government neba yamu sente zonganchi, mpiti livu, ze tu sabye, neba neba bi vunga vunga bi nebide mesewa. This voices are just if you are among the many who have lost loved ones in the West Collapse at Chitezi Landfill. Mama, but Neiba, Avana Batan, over Fidi de Munda, Avan to Tetubalan to Makumi Abidi of Asat, Wabula to Alaban to Abali Michkumi, Kuvaku, the Corrento Housing as a singer, a Mizzi Gojiba de Minji Yakumu Kumu, Avan to Navaziki de Bawedeo. So far, police have confirmed eight fatalities, but rescue efforts continue as more people are feared to be trapped. So far, we have retrieved the uh, six dead bodies. Before us reaching here, the locals had rescued three people alive. But we are going to trace them where they are, in the various clinics that they were taken to. And uh, we have also rescued one dog alive. So, so far the, res uh, the rescue mission is ongoing. Uh, we shall stay here until we see that all the dead bodies are retrieved. State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, Elidian Abel, while at this site, stated that government has begun preparations to resettle those surviving victims and their families. Local leaders will sit down and agree where this people can temporarily be relocated. Preferably whether it's school, where there is security or any open land. But we have to get where they can, they can go. Deputy Executive Director of KCCA, David Luimbazi, also gave a statement regarding KCCA's stand on the matter. But of course, it's time we have a lot of people who are in the same way. If we have a lot then after that, we have a lot of people who are in the same way. The politicians who showed face at this collapse landfill had this to say about the whole incident. The rescue operation is still ongoing until all those allegedly buried by the garbage sludge are found. Justin Nakami, UBC News, in Wakiso District. Oh! <laughs>